Things are starting to get very dangerous in the silo for Jules. Let's talk about this newest episode, season one, episode eight, Hannah. It's David Stark from Watcher Pass. That's Friday, which means it's another silo day. This is season one, episode eight, Hannah. It comes to Apple TV Plus on June 16, 2023. It follows the kind of revelations of last episode where Jules found the forbidden device. She found the hard drive stashed in the vent of the hospital in the room of the old like fertility like nurse, midwife, whatever you want to call her, the person who was helping people to get pregnant. Jules has the hard drive. Jules has the class red or whatever they call it, relic. What's going to happen to her? Is she going to be able to access it? Is she going to be able to stay away from judicial? I don't know. You have to see to find out. But you know what? I'll tell you what. This episode is really, really good. My recommendation is you definitely should watch it. It is another strong episode that has plenty of intrigue, plenty of danger. And it seems to be building towards a big finale. This is episode eight. This is a 10 episode arc. So we have two more episodes left. And it seems like there are big things coming. So... I definitely think you should watch it. If you haven't gotten on the silo train, you should start down because it's a pretty good series and it's only going to get better from here. So I'm going to tell you a little about the episode, a few things I liked, a few things I didn't like, and then go into a recap. As you can imagine, there will be spoilers in the recap. If you don't want to know what happens in this episode, I would turn it off when I get to the recap section. Before that, I'll keep it vague. I'll keep it spoiler free and I'll let you know when I get to those spoilers. So like I said, season one, episode eight deals with jewels now having the hard drive now she has to figure out what to do she has this like ultra contraband relic what is she going to do how is she going to keep it out of judicial hands how is she going to access it she doesn't have george who was the one who accessed the hard drive originally she has to figure it out herself can she do it can she access the hard drive while keeping herself safe and out of judicial hands well you'll have to keep watching to find out but things i liked about this episode the first I love the danger. Look, Jules seems to be kind of on her own right now, and she is trying to stay away from judicial at all costs. This episode definitely has a sense of danger. It definitely has a sense of she needed to be one step ahead of everyone trying to trying to keep this relic out of their hands and also keep herself out of their hands. And so the episode had a definite sense of dread that I love. Jules has always kind of felt like she is on her own, but now she really is. The second thing I loved is I love the chaos in this episode. Jules is starting to care a little bit less about the kind of subterfuge in the silo. She tells several people things about the silo that probably should not have been told, um, but she is not really caring as much. I think she's trying to either spread as much information as she can or just let people know the things that she knows because I think she's worried that something's going to happen to her. The third thing I loved, looked, I love the plot twist. There were some very big plot twist in this episode. There, there were some big reveals that shift the power dynamic in the silo in very meaningful ways. And I'm all about it. I love these uh, these big plot twists and these big reveals. And the last thing I loved, again, same with the last episode, this ending was really good. It, it is a buildup. It is kind of the culmination of all the things that have happened. It is a big uh, surprising point. And it is a cliffhanger that will inevitably be a very good next episode. Uh, I loved it i think it definitely i think silo is definitely picking up steam and definitely kind of leaving the viewers wanting more and this ending was no exception so that being said things i didn't love as much about this episode there's really only one and it is pure speculation there is nothing uh in this that i know for a fact there is there won't be any spoilers so don't worry about that but i'm just gonna call it resolution i am worried that they're not gonna be able to resolve this story by the end of season one. Now look, I imagine Silo is a multi-season uh, plan, so there's no way they would resolve it, but it makes me worry that we are building towards maybe like a big season finale, season finale moment that will only leave us wanting more, only leave, leave us with more questions until the next season. There's two episodes left, like I said. I don't know if they're going to be able to resolve everything. I don't know if they're going to be able to resolve everything in that time. So it makes me worry that they are not going to have a good resolution at the end of season one. Again, all speculation. I don't know that. I don't know that for a fact, but that is just my concern. So that being said, Silo season one, episode eight is really, really good. I definitely think you should check it out. It comes to Apple TV plus on June 16, 2023. I'm going to go into a recap of this episode, let you know some of those big plots, so let you know some of the things that uh, let me know about that monumental ending and some of the danger that happened. But if you don't want to know, so if you don't want to know what happens in this episode, I would turn it off now. Just know that Silo is coming to Apple TV plus today. It's out now. Go check it out. But if you keep watching, just know there will be spoilers. So in season one, episode eight, you get a little bit more backstory on Jules and especially Jules' relationship with her mom. Now, the story of, you know, Jules' mom and Jules and the present time are kind of interwoven throughout this episode. I'm just going to talk about the past part first and then go into kind of the present. So 
we find out a lot more about Jules and Jules's mom's relationship. We find out that Jules's mom is a lot like her. She was kind of a tinkerer. She really liked building things. She liked working with her hands, she liked figuring out how things were made. And one of the things we find out was, as you'd imagine, the death of Jules's brother, the death of uh, Jules's mom, whose name is Hannah, her son, really affected her. Uh, the, her son had like a small hole in his heart that, that eventually caused him to die at a very young age. Jules's mom wants to prevent that. So she creates this device. It's basically like almost a microscope. Like it's a magnifier that allows her to see very, very small objects. And she is hoping that she can use this to operate on people, like help with medical operations, help to kind of repair small things, essentially allow her to do surgery in the silo where it seems like they don't really have a lot of that technology. So she creates this magnifier and experiments on this rabbit that seems to also have a small hole in its heart. That operation was a success. That operation was successful. But Jules, but Jules' mom is not supposed to have this device. This, I guess, is technically classified as a relic, even though it's something that she built. Judicial doesn't want her to have it. So they search her house. They're unnecessarily destroying things, kind of taking glee in it. And eventually, but in order to prevent their entire house from being ransacked, uh, Jules' mom gives up the device. She shows Judicial like what it was. She builds it. She shows how it's a magnifier. And the judicial person smiles and then smashes it. Now, Jules's mom doesn't know about the cameras and the mirrors. She doesn't know everything that Jules knows. She doesn't know about the microphones and things like that. So she thinks the only person that knew about the magnifier that would have ratted on them was her husband, Jules's dad, the doctor. Uh, he swears up and down that he did not tell uh, judicial this, but she doesn't believe him. And eventually, I think this mistrust, this grief, this just kind of, crushing weight of the silo on her life causes hannah to eventually take her own life which devastates the entire family it devastates jules it devastates uh, her father it kind of drives a rift between them now because of this because of uh jules's mom's suicide and also because jules dad didn't like how her mom was like trying to take on it seems like trying to take on the like infrastructure of the silo trying to take on like the shadow forces by building this magnifier in secret and trying to keep it from people and then also trying to like use it and also trying to experiment in secret uh according to jules's dad hannah like tried to take on too many things and was kind of like overwhelmed with them so because of this jules's dad sends jules down to the lower levels to be there to like i guess be in an environment where she would be able to kind of solve specific problems, work with her hands, use her talent for the better of the silo, and also just kind of like get her away from the intrigue and politics of the upper level. So that is why Jules was eventually sent down to the lower levels of the silo to live there while her dad stayed in the upper levels. Uh, Jules was upset with him at this. I think she resented him for all of this, but he thought that he was doing the best thing. Now, back in the present, Jules has the hard drive. She goes, she's in the hospital. She's got the hard drive. She's in this safe nursery space because there's no cameras there. She tries to access it from her dad's computer. It doesn't work. She, she Even though she has like all the notes from uh, George uh, about like the access code, she's not able to actually access the hard drive. So she's confused. She doesn't know what to do. But she has another problem because... It turns out Judicial is also, it turns out Judicial wants to find this hard drive, wants to find this relic. So they are searching everywhere and they are overturning the police office trying to find the relic. They don't find it, but Billings makes an off comment that this is an illegal search and Jules kind of prized that and it turns out that it was a violation of the, of the pact, of the inspection protocols. There were a bunch of steps that Judicial skipped. So because of this, Jules flexes her power and arrests Sims and throws him in jail because of a violation of the pact, because he oversaw Judicial. Judicial did not follow the protocols. She arrests Sims. He says she'll regret it. We'll see if she does. But during this time, she takes the opportunity to search Sims's office and finds a secret like compartment in the filing cabinet that has some secret files, one of which is Jules's mom, Hannah. She can see in the file like things that she can see in the file. She, she reads the secret file about her mom and apparently learns something. So now Jules armed with this knowledge, goes and talks to her dad. And this is where Jules kind of starts to like, this is where I, I mentioned like the chaos uh, that happens. Like Jules starts to become very loose lipped with some of the information that she has. She sees her dad and eventually they start talking about Hannah, Jules's mom, his ex-wife. And it turns out that he, that Jules's dad blames himself for what happened, which 
makes sense, but he kind of analogizes differently. He says, okay, the worst thing about his job is occasionally they will have a newborn that dies, just, you know, dies for natural causes, just dies out of the blue. And he has to deliver the news to the parents. And that's actually not the worst part, even though it's a pretty bad part of the day. The worst is he has to see them and see their grief throughout the cycle. Like he'll run into them and see how their grief has affected them. And he says that this is kind of what it was like with Jules's mom. After they lost uh, their son, Jules's mom like had that same grief. And so her dad tried to stay at the hospital, tried to work too much to avoid kind of running into her and experiencing that grief. And he thinks that that is part of what drove Jules's mom into the more kind of radical aspects of the silo, into the things that would eventually get her, you know, blacklisted or get her like on a list and eventually drive her to kill herself. So he blames himself for Jules's mom dying. When Jules was young, she, like her mother, believed that her dad had narked on them, had, had told Judicial about the magnifier and essentially like crushed her mom's spirit. But now she believes her dad. She has the file. She knows about all the observers. She tells Jules's dad that there are cameras in the mirrors and there are you know listening devices. And, and that is what tipped it off about the magnifier. She believes that he never told her. And her dad is very happy about this. Like he has been trying to make it up to Jules, I think, for his entire life. And finally, he is, you know, vindicated. Finally, she believes him. They embrace, but not for long because while they're doing this, someone from maintenance comes to fix something in the hospital. And Jules thinks that they are going to install a camera in this room because this was a blind spot. And Judicial is trying to, like, make sure that they have cameras everywhere. Now, Jules tells her dad that she's going to go down to the lower levels to try to find Walk to help to access his hard drive. She thinks maybe Walk can do it. But unfortunately for her, there are now checkpoints going down to the lower levels. So Jules abandons that plan and tries the next best thing, the only other person that she knows who's in IT, the person, Lucas Kyle, the, the random like stargazer, person who's in the cafeteria, who they seem to be spending a lot of time with, uh, that didn't really make much sense. They established a relationship with him that didn't make much sense. Well, this is why they had to have him in the picture. They had to build this up so that now when Jules needs IT help, she can call on him. She sends a note to him. He meets her in this like secluded area where she shows him the hard drive and says that she needs his help accessing. She said that there was an error when she first tried to access it, this like sysop level uh, authorization that she needed. And he's like, well, that's like the highest level. That's like the head of IT, uh, the mayor. And she's like, what about the sheriff? She's like, and Lucas is like, yes. I mean, the sheriff, as a sheriff, you can access it, but you have to access it from your terminal, from like your specific sheriff terminal, which Jules doesn't want to do. She doesn't want to bring the relic into that area and potentially risk herself getting arrested and the relic getting captured. She tries to see if Lucas will help her, but he's too scared. He doesn't want to do it. So eventually she kind of wanders off frustrated, but understandably, I mean, Lucas is, Lucas will be putting himself at great danger to do this. Before this, she does tell him about the cameras and about the listeners and about the things that Judicial is able to know. Now, Jules at this point is trying to get down to the lower levels because she can't rely on Lucas. She has to get down to walk to access his hard drive. But that checkpoint is still there. Jules tries to talk her way through the checkpoint, but it looks like they're about to search his bag. And then the mayor shows up and tells the the like the checkpoint person, like, hey, this is your sheriff. Let her through. Uh, you know, she's she's coming with she's a guest of me. You know, you wouldn't search me, you wouldn't search her. Now the mayor takes Jules to a cornfield that is about as isolated as they can get so that they can talk. And Jules tells the mayor that she thinks that Sims is running the show. She thinks that Sims is going on a power grab. She, he's been trying to get rid of her. And if he gets rid of her, then the mayor is next. Now the mayor seems very concerned about this. He seems like he's worried. And he mentions something about the relic. And then he mentions to Jules that if she has the hard drive, she needs to. And then he stops himself. And Jules is like, I never mentioned a hard drive. And that is when Sims emerges from the cornfield as well. And it turns out that Sims and the mayor are working together. And the mayor is actually the one who is like the echelon of power, the one who like is running the observation, the, the Gestapo, I guess, uh, the one that is like making these tough decisions and killing people in order to, in order for the greater good of the silo. He is trying to like quell rebellion, try to make sure that people stay calm and happy because he's worried that if too much information gets into the silo, then that could cause unrest and that could eventually cause the downfall of the silo. And the mayor, in explaining this, mentions this thing that has been said a few times, the needs of the many require the sacrifices of the few. So in, in other words, 
the greater good of the silo requires maybe a few people to get disappeared in order to keep the peace. Now, how are they going to disappear Jules? I mean, Jules is a high-ranking official. She is the sheriff. She's very visible. What are they going to do? Well, the mayor and Sim Sims tells the mayor, I think I heard her just say that she wanted to go outside, and the mayor backs this up. So you have two people who have heard Jules say that she wants to go outside. Not a good look for Jules, not a good way for her to kind of like get out of this. And so she and she makes a run for it. Now, unfortunately for her, there's plenty of judicial people here. They eventually capture her. She puts up a good fight, but they're she's outnumbered. They eventually arrest her or at least detain her and are getting ready to bring her up so that she can go outside. Now, here after this, we get a little hint of maybe what is to come. We go down to Walk. Walk is in the lower level. She was waiting for Jules. Jules was supposed to show up, and she never did. And Walk gets a message from one of the other people in the lower levels named Shirley. And she said that, and she says that she's, she's heard from above that what has happened to Jules, that she was captured, that she uh, said she wanted to go outside. And Shirley then says that Knox, who is another character from the lower levels, Said that they'd eventually said that they'd eventually punish us for the rebellion, and she thought he was crazy. But I guess now she believes. Now she believes this. Now she believes that the uh, upper levels are taking it out on the lower level sheriff, who is who was elevated up there, um, and they're going to kind of use her as a sacrifice. And so Shirley says, "What happens next? I think revolution will probably be brewing soon. We'll find out in later episodes, but I think that's probably what's going to happen." Now back to Jules. Jules is walking up with the mayor and with Sims. They're getting ready to like send her out. And Billings is here. Billings is escorting her. Billings, the kind of deputy sheriff who is now going to be the new sheriff. Uh, he is escort he's escorting Jules up. And Jules complains. He says, Billings, I never said that. I never said that I wanted to go. I never said I wanted to go outside. And Billings is like, Billings, very by the book, says, well, if you think you've been misheard, you can appeal. And Jules is like, to who? Who am I going to appeal? They're judicial. They're the ones saying, they're the ones lying about what I said. Who am I going to appeal? This kind of catches, uh, this seems to maybe kind of like sink in with Billings. But before more can happen, Sims turns around and punches Jules in the stomach, kind of silencing her. Uh, Billings, who is still a good guy, even though he's very by the book, is like, that was unnecessary. Uh, and Sims just seems to like not care at this point. He says, you know, put it in your report. And then he yells at some other people who are watching this whole altercation happen. So Sims seems to be maybe a little bit frust flustered with all this going on, maybe becoming a little bit more mad with power. I think that could be something that'll happen. That'll be, I think that could be something that pl they'll play in the future. Let's find out. But another thing that happens while they're walking up there is this is pretty stressful for for Billings. He is arresting his former boss. He's climbing the stairs of the silo. This seems to be stressful for him mentally and physically. And what we found out earlier is that because of the stress of Billings' job, his tremors have gotten worse. Like the kind of tremors in his hand that overtake him, I guess the tremors in his whole body have gotten worse. Now, this stressful situation is causing his tremors to act up again. And Jules sees her chance when he has like a little bit more of a tremor, when he his hands seem to shake a little bit, when his grip loosens. She escapes from him. She grabs the bag from Sims, heads to the railings. Everyone kind of looks on in horror as Jules puts gets herself up on the railings, turns around, and then jumps over. And that's the episode. That is Silo. That is the kind of big, powerful ending that we had. So we found out who the real power broker in the Silo is. Or is it? We don't know. Maybe there will be someone else. But it seems like this could be the like highest level of power in the Silo. We found out that Jules has a hard drive, and now we found out that Jules is going to do anything she can to escape. I don't think she's dead, uh, but maybe. Maybe she jumped over so that the hard drive would make it down to the lower levels, but that would probably actually smash it. Now, what do I think about will happen next? Well, I think Jules probably has some sort of plan. Either she like laid out a rope or something that she could use to climb down, or she knows the silo pretty well, and she knows that this is a place where she, she can jump off and then maybe like latch onto something. Uh, it Or maybe she has some sort of glider device that would seem to be a little far-fetched but i don't know i mean she's a pretty inventive person maybe she has something like that i don't think she's dead but i think she is going to escape and try to make her way to the lower levels so that she can both reunite with walk see what's on this hard drive and also go in a place where she has some protection now sim seems to be kind of like drunk with power he seems to be kind of like getting he seems to be kind of breaking some of his cool 
in this situation. So I'm wondering if we are going to eventually have an altercation between him and the mayor. The mayor seems to be the power broker, seems to be seems to be the one that is kind of like enforcing all of that. But maybe Sims feels like he's doing and too much. Maybe Sims feels like he wants to take that lead. We will see. We will see what happens. But I could also see a, a conflict between the mayor and Sims occurring where Sims tries to take over for the mayor. Also, I imagine Tim Robbins is probably a pretty expensive person. So maybe they want to replace him with Common or someone else. I don't know. But I think that we have two, but we have two episodes left. I think that the revolution is brewing. I think that there will be some unrest occurring. And we will have to see what judicial and the sheriff's office do to quell this unrest that might be started by our very own sheriff. We will see. That is all speculation. I don't have any insight into what happens next, but that is just kind of what I think. I think there will be a revolution occurring. I think that Sims will have to quell it. I think that eventually people are going to have to take sides and maybe the sheriff's office and some of the officers and some of the people are going to side with Jules. Some people are going to stay out of it. Sims is going to have his apparatus and there will be some sort of clash that happens. But that is my guess, And but we'll find out next week. But for now, that is Silo Season 1, Episode 8. Hannah, it is premiering on Apple TV Plus on June 16, 2023. It is a very good episode. Definitely check it out. And if you haven't caught up on Silo, check out the rest of it. It's a really good series. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.